We're not even halfway done with our denim jacket and it's already looking so good. Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of Making Pinterest Real. I'm actually so incredibly excited for today's episode. We're gonna be DIY painting and stenciling a denim jacket. There's some really, really cool ones online, but they're all so expensive. On the cheap end, you're looking at like $75. On the high end, you can spend hundreds and hundreds of dollars for a custom hand-painted jacket. And I would consider myself a pretty crafty person, but I'm not the best at free hand painting, so doing this look stenciled it's going to be perfect because you're going to get the look of a high-end really well done expensive jacket but number one you did it yourself which is really cool to tell your friends and you're also getting it for a much cheaper price all right let's get started i picked up this jacket from my local thrift store for 15 dollars, which is a really good deal and i would really recommend getting a light wash denim so your paint will show up better as you can see here mine is a light acid wash and here is the stencil i'm going to be using i actually custom ordered the stencil so if there is a certain design that you want on your stencil that we don't offer definitely feel free to shoot us a custom order all right now it's time to get started on our jacket make sure you really smooth out your jacket so you have no wrinkles that are going to mess up your painting process for my paint, I'm using orange and white fabric paint. My paint was also pretty inexpensive. It was around two or three dollars each. But if you're someone like me who has a ton of acrylic paint and you wanna use a lot of colors, you can also buy fabric medium, which will mix into any acrylic paint and turn it into a fabric paint. And our last step before applying our stencil is to spray it with spray adhesive. This will make sure it really sticks to our denim. And now I'm putting my stencil down and I'm also using ruler to measure out the jacket to make sure it's really centered. All right, and now we're ready to start painting. Make sure to wipe off excess paint onto a paper towel so that way you reduce bleed through when you're stenciling. And I found that denim was a fairly easy material to work with. I definitely had to apply multiple coats, but I think this is a good thing because if you wanna go for a really faded look, that's really easy to do by just applying one or two layers. I ended up applying around three or four layers to get a much more solid look. And as you can see here, I think it turned out really good, but we're not done. I'm gonna go in and add some orange accents. Like I said, I'm doing a white and orange theme. And I'm also gonna go in with a second stencil to add more details, but we'll get to that at the end. Now for the accents, I'm going in with a really thin flat brush so we can do lots of little details, but before doing the orange, I'm painting the accents in white. I found that if you paint a white base before going in with whatever color you want to use, it allows that color to show up much brighter. So like I said, as you can see, I'm just painting the orange right over those white lines so no white is showing. And if you do want to go for like a more faded, rustic, kind of darker look, then you definitely don't have to do the white base first. And now I'm going to go in with a star stencil and add some orange and white stars around the Texas. This is an old stencil I had from a previous project, so this really just goes to show always keep your stencils in good condition because you never know when you can use them again. And I'm doing the same thing where any orange stars I want, I'm painting the base white and then going back over them with orange so I'll have those really bright colors. Additionally, I wanted different size stars, so I'm doing the big stars with my stencil, and then I'm going in and freehanding some little stars, but if you don't feel comfortable freehanding these, we do sell this stencil in a ton of different sizes, so you can purchase several of them in order to get the multi-size stars. I honestly love how this came out. I think it turned out really cute, and this would be so fun to wear to sports games or any kind of fun event. I also think it came out really professional looking, and I spent under $40, which is insane. Most new jackets are that price, so for just about the same price, you get a nice jacket that is all custom painted, and you can say that you painted it yourself. Head to our website to check out more of our stencils, and don't forget to tag us on social media with your stencil art. 